There's a tradition that says that Rasulullah Miqdad would come to him and Miqdad would say, Rasulullah, I've went to three different people and I've got the same hadith but with three different answers. The hadith says that an hour of contemplation equals X amount of years of worship. So Rasulullah says, what did you hear? He says, I went to one of your companions and he said one hour of contemplation is equal to one whole year of worship. Then he says, I went to another person. He says, I heard Rasulullah say an hour of contemplation is equal to seven years of worship. Then I went to a third companion and he says, an hour of contemplation is worth 70, seven zero years of worship. So Rasulullah says, let's bring all three and find out. So Maqdad goes and brings all three to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asks them. He asks the first one, how do you, how do you contemplate? He goes, I read the Quran and I contemplate over Allah's creation and the vastness of the universe and say, MashaAllah, what a great creator and Lord that I have that I am worshipping. He goes, and that's how I contemplate. Rasulullah would say, this kind of contemplation is worth one year of worship. Then he asked the second person, how do you contemplate? And he would say, I would remember death. And when remembering death and its severity, I look at my actions, what I've done, what I failed to do, what I owe, who I owe, who I've wronged, what I need to do before I reach death. And Rasulullah would reply, this person's contemplation is worth seven years. Then he asks the third person, how do you contemplate? And he goes, I contemplate on the fire of hell and its severity. What have I brought forward? that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish me? And what can I do in order for Allah to remove me from the punishment of hell and guide me towards the rewards of heaven? Rasulullah would say this kind of contemplation is worth 70 years. 